Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The situation in the east of Ukraine is shitty, and that's according to the Russian uh, general, who is the commander-in-chief of the Ukraine uh, military armed forces. So his name is Sirsky. He's Russian. <laughs> Make no mistake about that. But anyway, um, I have here one, two, three, four, five, six. See, I know how to count six articles and two maps to show you how the situation is desperate if nothing happens in uh, the united states of america regarding some money which i think will happen uh, ukraine uh, will collapse sooner than later so let me show you these articles they almost all have to do with um, bakhmut artemovsk front and we have uh, bovdanivka that's the axis these guys are concerned even though they said a village is still under ukrainian control the russians are around it so is bohdanivka and bakhmut axis they are very concerned about i think the ukrainians also fired the commander of the south armed forces or defense forces that's for, because uh, he couldn't do what he was supposed to it seems like so let's start with the first article. They, um, not they, uh, um, they're almost all, uh, all these articles I picked from the Ukrainian media. So they uh, report on a desperate situation. Now, if they report about a desperate situation, could be because it's even worse than actually they say it is, or they uh, say it because they want to create panic here in the West and point fingers and use, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um you know assault on people's character for not voting for some money to uh have pentagon and its uh, lackeys sent to ukraine so let's start with the first article coming from ukrainska pravda they basically same uh they say the same the same thing ukrainska pravda this is saturday 13th of april 2024 Situation in Ukraine's east escalates significantly. Now, when they say this, uh, or they say it's dynamic, that means they lost some positions, they lost some villages, settlements, whatever they might be. Uh, this is a reading every day, the media, um, in the past two, day, two days, two years, regarding this shitty war. So when the Ukrainians say escalated uh, or it's um, escalation, or there, as I said, uh, des not desperate, they don't say desperate, dynamic or tense. These are the words, these are the, the words they use. That means they, are, they lost something or they are in the, you know, in, in the, uh, within hours of losing some positions. So the Russian Alexander Sirsky, commander in chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, has said that the situation on the Eastern Front, plural, has escalated significantly in recent days due to Russia's significant intensification of offensive operations after the presidential elections. <laughs> what about uh, just uh, being uh, entering uh, April, the month of April? Isn't that related? No. <laughs> so how do you make the connection? You see, these guys, when they tell you, hey, uh, he cheated on her because it was Monday, what does one have to do with the other one? Well, if you have an, uh, an agenda and you want to pinpoint that on the Monday because you have, uh, you know, something, then yeah, you can say it, but there's no connection. So the same here. Uh, they, he did it, the intensification of offensive operations after the presidential elections. Hey, Ukraine did not have any presidential elections. So uh, uh, that's the first one. And the second one, they pinpointed to that. How about we pinpoint that with... Uh, since the i don't know the bombardment of the embassy in uh, in syria by <clears throat> no it doesn't coincide with that oh how about with me i know meeting a friend and having a little coffee with her how about that it coincides there's no relationship but hey they want to make it pay attention to these things uh, i mean correlation and all that sirsky said that the russians were actively attacking on the liman and bakhmut fronts with assault groups supported by armored vehicles. So I'm going to show you Liman and Bakhmut. So this is uh, Bakhmut, Artemovsk. This is the area with Shasov Yar. 
and uh, Liman is north of it. It's in this area here. Actually, much higher. It's right where my strong hand is in this area. So we have this line because look at this little cove, whatever this is. This is bad, bad. Here is Liman, Krasny Liman. It's right here. So he's talking about this situation and Artemovsk right here. So this is the line where they are very, very concerned with the Russian advance. And I would be also. On the Pokrovsk front, the Russians are trying to break through the defenses using dozens of tanks and infantry, infantry fighting vehicles. Sirsky explained this by, by the dry weather, which has made most of the open areas accessible to tanks. Well, how about you? Isn't the bad weather bad uh, good for you as well, for your tanks? The same thing, and when you, uh, uh, that self attribution uh, uh, method or no method, principle, is when you succeed in something, it's because of your own uh, you know, abilities, skills. When you lose, it must be because something else, the weather, the wind blew, the something happened. So the same here. Uh, sometimes when you hear a, uh, in football, in soccer, uh, uh, we had a problem. Um, we lost because uh, the, the field was muddy and uh, wasn't the field muddy for the opposite team? Um, yeah, but the technical team, us, we always uh, have problems, the technical teams always have problems with, uh, you know, with uh, their game when uh, the, the field is muddy. Yeah, but didn't you know it's going to be muddy? Did you adjust? So, you know, like it wasn't muddy for the... For the uh, opponents. The same here. Oh, it makes most of the open areas because of the wet, dry weather. How about your tanks? Where are your challenger tanks? Where are your, uh, how do you call them, uh, Abrams tanks? He said that his first day in the area of operation was dedicated to, the, to this, for, this front and to talking to necessary measures, taking all necessary measures to stabilize the situation. So it's not stabilized increase the effectiveness of Ukrainian troops and inflict maximum losses to Russian unit. Hey, good morning. The cat is here, so brought his toy, he wants to play. And the issue of advancing technical superiority over the enemy is high-tech weapons has once again arisen. All right, only this will give us the opportunity. So the situation is, escalates significantly, the weather, you know, and the next one. New voice of Ukraine. Eastern Front situation deteriorates for you as Russian intensifies offensive, says Russian, I'm sorry, Ukrainian commander in chief. This is the same thing as the other article. I'm gonna go to Ukraine form. Situation on Eastern Front has escalated. So the same, um, the same uh, reported by these guys, but they're working hard here. What's up? You're coming up? You will come. He's gonna just surround me right now. And it's gonna jump on. Come on, let's do it. I know you're there, Mofo. Come on. <laughs> Motherfucker, I told you. <laughs> I know your methods, man. <laughs> um, I like, I love this cat. I cat, I love, I love him. The situation on the Eastern Front is escalated. So the same thing here. It says, according to him, the Russians are actively attacking Ukrainian positions in the Liman and Bakhmut sectors with assault groups supported by armored vehicles. And the same thing here. Let's go to the next article. Is um, from Reuters. Russian armored assaults ramp up pressure on Ukraine's east, army chief says. Well, yeah, that's true. What are they going to do about it? Change the weather. Next one. Ukraine form. Fighting continues in Bohdanivka on Bakhmut axis. So let's see where Bohdanivka is. And Bohdanivka is by Bakhmut Artemovsk. This map is not going to show you, it's not going to go deeper than that, but here is Artemovsk, Bakhmut. This is Ashoryar, and Bohdanivka is a little bit north of it. I have another map and I will show it to you. So this is Europe, this is where the garbage occurs. It's the world. Okay, let's go to Bogdanivka. This is very sensitive map, so I don't like to use it much, but it's much clearer, uh, much uh, goes, zooms in, let's, that's the word, zooms in, zooms in, zooms in, zooms in, better. So this is 
Bakhmut, and you can see right here, Bakhmut, and you got Shasiriar here, and uh, Bogdaniska, Bogdaniska, Bogdanikta is right, Bogdanikta, Jesus Christ, is right here. And he says, let me put my goggles, at Bakhmut direction, Russian army shells Bilohorivka of Luhansk region, Bogdanivka, Kalinivka, Shasiriar, and Kelshivka of Donetsk region. Russian aviation conducted airstrikes at Ivanivske, Rozdolivka and Konstantivka at the Donetsk, Donetsk region. So this is Bohdanivka here, this is Shasir Yar, and this is Bakhmut on the... don't see it, it's right there, Bakhmut. So these guys are advancing here and in the bottom here. So, where were we? So Bohdanivka, Bohdanivka, instead of saying Bov, Boh, Boh, whatever. <laughs> uh, last night, um, he said, the ministry said, enemy assault groups broke through the northern outskirts of the city. Bohdanivka is now under the control of the Ukrainian defense forces. The battle is going on. The enemy does not stop the assault. Hoppa. This guy comes over. What's up, buddy? We're gonna we're gonna rest here. Okay. Alrighty, make make room. Okay, with your tail, with your ass. Good. Okay, just here. Well, well, well. So, and then we're gonna go to the next and the last article. The new voice of Ukraine. Both. Danivka village under Ukrainian control. Intense fighting persists. So they say that here, the, this is not an updated map, this is the updated map, but I want to show you where this is in a whole scheme of things. Right there. So this is where it is. This is the uh, Kharkiv, Kharkov Oblast. And let me go like this, so you know where it's happening in this area, in Donetsk. So let's read the article a little bit. The village of Bohtanivka is under defense forces control with intense fighting in the Bakhmut sector, con continuing the Ukraine. Oh, is leaving, or maybe, maybe going behind me. He's going to sit between me and the... over there. Or is leaving. Nosy Nate. Okay, and now we're gonna leave, right? It's right here. Back in business. The village of Bohdanivka is under the defense forces control with intense fighting in the Bakhmut sector continuing, the Ukraine Defense Ministry reported. The ministry refuted the deep state monitoring portal easier or earlier, I'm sorry, report of the village's occupation by Russian forces and advanced towards Shasir Yar. So Shasiv Yar. So this is Shasivyar, and they say, oh, it's right here, uh, Bogdanivka, we still have a, a long way. Well, right here, Bogdanivka, this is where they said it's already done. And I'm calling that during the night, enemy assault groups made their way to the northern outskirts. There is a battle going on, the enemy does not stop attacking. The minister said, yeah, it seems like the situation is shitty over there. And uh, not only, uh, more troops, more money more weapons and um, even though what, what are you gonna do you can't just look at your possibilities look at the um, the russians uh, potential uh, force which is manpower they have what one year it's a population of 146 million people they will always have people that can bring to the front and fight you on the other hand uh, i'm talking about the ukrainians had a lot of refugees people who young people who left, men who could fight, a lot of people were killed, so, and I don't think the mental state, the uh, the willingness to join the fight in the name of those interests is very popular in Ukraine. So anyway, the situation is bad. Now, like in a Hollywood movie with a script, the House of Representatives in the United States uh, of America's Congress will vote uh, money for Ukraine. I it's going to be maybe not 60 billion for Ukraine, as I always said. It's going to be probably 50 
or maybe 55 billion n that was point will be pointed out to all of us see they negotiated <laughs> how about zero it's like the same when the unions um negotiate for us they are we we, we negotiated a 1.2 percent increase in the next two years yeah 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 and they were supposed to all celebrate uncork this you know and what that's a failure it's like oh you know what we lost 10 to 1 but hey we scored one we still lost well it's what it's it's better than 10 to 0 uh yeah if you look like that at the situation but i don't want to look like that on the situation i want to look like this we won 10 to 0 or 10 to 1 how about that that's a victory so again uh unions and uh, the same with these guys um, yeah you have the potential but uh you know losing losing the whole thing is losing going towards a uh, uh, losing war but these guys want to make a profit and that's the way it is so thank you very much for being with me again today Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. Are you back in business?